Hi everyone, I'm going to make an art journal page and I'm going to start with white and gray uh, in the background with, I think I'll use a sponge and oopsie, lots of white here so I'm just starting to lay the color on my page I'm using a mixed media paper and I really don't care where it goes and how it looks this is only the base for what will come afterwards so I'm just laying it uh, as quickly as I can And the only thing uh, is that I'm thinking I will, uh, I want to keep the darker areas to the edges and less in the middle. So here we go. Just putting down paint as base and I need more white I'm alternating the uh, directionality of the sponge just so uh, there won't be the same print print uh, each time I want it interesting not repeating itself here we go putting darker uh, in the ed on the edges and more white in the middle and just a little bit more white in several places yeah this is it and now i've got to let all this all dry before i continue i'll be back I'm back so now I want to add interest and texture to my background and by texture I'm not uh, only referring to something that you can feel physically but also uh, stamping uh, all kinds of stamps in the background can add to your texture I'm going to use first this uh, stamp uh, of crackle and I'm going to put it randomly on my page and it's not a really a prominent but it adds to the whole thing that's at least what I'm thinking so here it is randomly on my page and now I'm moving on to handwritten script that I want again randomly in my background So uh, this is the text and now I've got these stamps, I'm not going even to uh, take them out of the acetate, I'm just going to add some details like so. Oops. 
So this is it uh, in from this uh, stance and now I think I'll just add a little bit of uh, numbers from this stamp don't know why it just <laughs> speaks to me okay so this is a this is that now I'm going to let it a uh, uh, dry I'm going to use my heat tool so I'll be sure that all this ink is completely dry before I'm going uh, wet on it with sprays so I'll be back I'm back so I'm going to use now sprays on this page and I've put towel uh, underneath just so uh, the whole notebook won't suffer from it look how lovely all these colors are and i'm using uh, my homemade sprays they are from gel food coloring from a local brand i only put a few drops and water in the spray bottles and that's it so let's see yeah and just a little bit yeah this is it <laughs> now this needs to dry before I continue and I'll be back I'm back so this is dry now I want some dragonflies on my page and instead of stamping them directly here I'm going to stamp them on a, one of the white layers from pepper napkin because I want a crisp print of the dragonfly and I know that uh, I can achieve it by doing it like this and only then gluing that to my page it will take uh, the white layer of the paper napkin will take a very good print of the dragonfly and of course now it didn't just because I said it would <laughs> so I'm gonna try again and something is wrong with this uh, stamp I've got another dragonfly uh, stamp uh, that I'm going to try and use. First I'll stamp some more of this. Of course I don't have a straight surface here because of the other pages. Stupid me! Okay moving this a little bit aside and trying again to get a fine print of my dragonfly on a straight surface this time and we've got it okay yeah so now I'm going to take a very thin a paintbrush, dip it in water and I'm going around my dragonfly so I can take it out of the napkin like so very gently I don't want a straight edges so that's why I'm doing it like that 
So here we go, one. Kind of hard to see what I'm doing right now, but I'm just going around the image with the print brush dipped in water. There we go. Taking it out. And just one more. got it so I've got my three uh, dragonflies that now I need to see where I want them mm, something like that yeah and I'm going to take white blue I'm going to go over them from uh, the inside towards the outside smoothing it out letting it glide don't uh, drag the napkin so it won't tear and here we go it disappeared into the background again putting down glue and from the inside towards the outside smoothing it out I'm using the flat of the brush so I won't drag it. Here we go. So I've got the three uh, dragonflies and I want some sentiment here. So I'm going to uh, again use uh, the paper napkin and I'm going to stamp on the white layer of the paper napkin. Uh, and I think I'm going for this one let's see where is my here is my acrylic block the real joy in life is in its play I'm playing so it fits Now I know that I need a flat surface. Here we go. And again I need... Where did I put... 
my paintbrush. Yeah. Here it is. Water, paintbrush, and taking it from the paper napkin. Here we go. Yeah, I've got it. Again, glue the same thing as I've done with the dragonflies. I hope I'm in frame. Sometimes I move things because I don't have enough space and I'm worried that I'm getting out of frame. Yeah, here we go. Now I just want some swirly uh, stamping uh, all around. So I'm going to fetch some uh, stamps and I'll be back. I'm back. So. Just to finish everything off, I want some swirly uh, stamping, uh, well, in the edges mostly, don't know why, <laughs> but that's what I'm thinking right now, and here we go, and I've got a problem here with the spiral, so let's see if I can place it. No, I'll just put it like this and now put pressure. Most of the time I'm taking the page out of the notebook and working uh, on it. It's easier. This time I didn't do it. Here we go, and I've got another stamp here, quite a large one. Not going to use the whole of it. This, and let's see. Mm. Yeah. Do I need more? Yes. I like how it's framing my page, so I'm going to put more. Uh, uh, on the edges yeah and Again, 
I need to peel it and This is it. That's my page. It's done. I really like it. I really enjoyed playing around with all these details. I hope you've enjoyed it too. Thank you for watching. Thank you for leaving me comments below. And I'll be uh, seeing you in my next video. Bye for now.